flames. Steel. Barbed wire. The conquerors of flesh. No human body could stand the wrath of these instruments of destruction. But tonight... I won't let this championship decay into extreme garbage just like everything else in this company. Each and every superstar in the GCW locker room I will not conform! will have no choice but to go extreme. I'm digging myself out of this grave. I'm digging myself out of this graveyard. With the help of his most trusted and loyal disciple, a messiah of violence will reach his hand. In attempts to claim another crown. A savage Indian warrior has arrived in the land of giants with one goal in mind to conquer the beast who conquered God. Have we ever seen the likes of Brock Lesnar being manhandled quite like this? An unholy alliance looks to make a brutal sacrifice out of another true legend. A family, bound by blood, target the old gunslinger on his path to retribution. Didn't I show you not to mess with me? How many times I gotta teach you this lesson, old man? In the most explosive of ways. Roman Reigns is in real need of somebody to give him a good old-fashioned ass kick. And he's not alone. The three of you, against Three of us, explosion, barbed wire, death man. Are you kidding me? Unspeakable carnage will be unleashed, but sometimes the most extreme of conditions appear when you take away the familiar. Your match with me, Chiman, will be a singles, one on one, good old fashioned wrestling match. The Kingpin of GCW defends his title against the Fallen King on his own terms. No matter who it may be, no matter the circumstances, on this night, everyone will know the meaning of extreme. Welcome all you lovely fans to the night where GCW gets extreme! Yeah, what a night we have lined up for you here. we exploding barbed wire death match and a lot more here tonight. Yeah, I definitely agree, but tonight is the night that my cousin will beat that punk ass bitch of a champion Will Osprey, who decided not to get extreme tonight, but don't worry, my cousin's got you covered because now G-Man will be the champion of GCW. But first up comes the match between the franchise and the newest member of the Antichrist Legion, the Rated R Superstar, Edge. Yeah, the forming of the Judgment Day at WrestleMania was definitely one of the biggest shockers in GCW history recently. There is Jeff Hardy, sitting atop his obsidian throne, watching his horrible cacophony of chaos unfold. The first victim was The Undertaker, and now Edge looks to add John Cena to the list. Yeah, we haven't seen The Undertaker in, as you know, forever after Jeff Hardy was done with him. And now, 
Edge is looking to do the exact same thing to John Cena here tonight. Edge has had a rough time here in GCW as of late. He's tried so many times to obtain some kind of gold. Last year at WrestleMania, he went one-on-one -on -one against the Extreme Style Champion John Moxley, fell short, tried it again against John Cena, among others, and fell short once again, even with the help of Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. But now, he might have just turned a new leaf. A leaf that might grant him absolute immortality. Yeah, I think so. This alliance with Jeff Hardy could be one of the biggest things Edge has done here in GCW. And there he is. An arm to the teeth, I see. The legend in John Cena has come to fight back against the tyranny of Judgment oh. Day as Edge was able to dodge that chair shot and just ram John Cena's head against the barricade. Well, we barely just got started and already we throw in the haymakers. I'm all for it. It's extreme rules, baby. Oh my oh. God. Huge bulldog by John Cena smashing Edge's face onto that steel steps. Now Cena, looking to reap the reward. Now he's got a table, because why not? Tonight of all nights is the best way to do it all, but there's Edge, he was ready for that. John Cena's rocked, and now Edge, what's he thinking of doing here? Is he thinking for a suplex back inside the ring? Oh my goodness gracious, oh. and he lands it right onto the table. Yeah, shoulders landed there. Table or canvas, take your pick, oh! I'm pretty sure John Cena would have much rather just laid it straight on the canvas. Go! Oh! Wish granted. Yes, Edge is dominating the early parts of the matchup here. Coming back. Now what's Edge thinking here? Irish with the oh! oh my god, what a kick! Right to the mush of the franchise. Edge may be a bit older, but he can still move like a stallion. And there goes bitch ass Jeff Hardy. Oh, sorry, Jeff Hardy as Edge is now looking to finish off Cena with something here. What is this? Oh my God! Tiger suplex, or was that a straight jacket suplex? Either way, it was a suplex that landed John Cena right on his neck. And now what's this? Oh, electric chair slam onto the oh, table. This is John dangerous. Cena's in trouble. He's got to find a way out of this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my oh. God, unorthodox indeed! Cena wasting no time from the top rope edge is in trouble as Cena takes flight. A rough landing for both men. Yeah, but Cena did everything to avoid that table and now he got Edge set up on the steel steps here. What is he thinking? What in the world is John Cena thinking? Edge is in trouble. Edge is oh. now a sitting duck. Oh as John Cena sits atop the world here, as he's gonna land a move in a century, but Edge, he saw it coming. Very wise move to stop Cena there. Oh my God, oh. face first onto the steel! John Cena has to be knocked unconscious there, as Edge landed some kind of flapjack face plant move, whatever it was, I bet it hurt like hell, but John Cena is still in the match. You can love him or hate him, but there's no denying that John Cena has the heart of an absolute warrior. But now, Edge is looking to pierce that heart with this spear. Wait a minute, Cena able to counter. Power bump. Power bump by Cena. No Edge counters. Spear. No. Hey, no. Cross face. What a counter by Edge. How smooth. Is Cena going to tap out for the first time here in GCW? His first pay-per-view match back in God knows how long. That would be huge for Edge, but Cena countered. There's the AA. Edge is down. Cena is still up. Oh, wait, Jeff Hardy, what the hell? Of oh, course. no. God. Oh, I can't say it, but you know I'm thinking it. Jeff Hardy had to stick his nose where it didn't belong, and John Cena paid the price for it. Paid double, if you know what I mean.
Yeah, it's extreme rules, so we should have expected this. And now Jeff Hardy flipping off the crowd. What else is new? As now, both members of the Judgment Day have the upper hand on Cena. And it looks like Jeff Hardy's looking for the twist of pain. Wait, Cena, no! Oh, oh my God, just when I thought things were getting a bit hopeful, it's over. But wait, Cena kicks out again! Jeff Hardy can't believe it. Many believers in John Cena can, however, and that just pisses Jeff Hardy off to no end. And now Edge, looking at the opportunity presented to him by Jeff Hardy. Look at the, wait! What? Could it be? I think it is. It's Randy Orton's music, but is he actually here? Wait, there he is! RKO oh. out of nowhere to Jeff Hardy! But wait, watch out for Edge, Randy! Watch out for Edge! Spirit 10, but no! What a power slam counter there! These two, Randy Orton and John Cena, I mean, have very decorated history with each other. It has definitely been decorated with gold as they are both two-time champions as the franchise killers. Could this be the reunion that was rumored online? Look at this edge. I wouldn't turn around if I was you. Wait, RKO Just attempt there. Able to escape. Oh! oh! Solid steel chair to the dome of Randy Orton. But here comes yeah. Cena. Whoa, my God, what a lariat. And there's the Tope Suicina. Or should I say Tope Suicina? Huh, you like that? Not bad, not bad. But there's oh. Edge. Oh, Flapjack onto the ropes. Edge using those dirty tactics to get ahead just like the ultimate opportunist he is. Here comes the spear, wait, oh. caught into the AA. He's about to go wait, straight into the wait, table. What? Wait a minute, who the hell is that? Oh, oh my God, what was that? Spear through the table by Edge, the second one of the match. That wait, gotta be that? it. Is that who I think it is? The Edge just won, but that has to be the Lord of Darkness himself, evil. But what the hell is he doing here? I don't know. Edge looks just as confused as I am. Evil has aligned himself with the Judgment Day, no doubt. Yeah, it looks like it. Just when you thought you could squish one cockroach, the swarm come right through. But for Edge, the alliance with Jeff Hardy seems to pay off. Absolute disgusting display, but of course they're not done. What else could you possibly do? What more can you take away from John Cena? No. Oh my god, I think, I think I might get my answer. They're trying to take away his life. No one this, there to this, stop this him. This is too much. No. no. No, no, don't you dare do it. Don't you dare. Don't you No. Dare. Wait a sec. What? Already? No way. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rainmaker, Kazuchika. Okada! My God! Coming to the aid of John Cena! Yeah, we we knew he was gonna be here, but but not this early! And it yeah. even looks like he's just seen a ghost! And so does John Cena if I look closely enough! Okada having a stare down with Evil and looking over to his former rival! Oh, there goes the chair shot, but wait a second! Okada Rainmaker! Wow! Okada sending a statement as he comes to defend a former rival of his. Years ago, these two had a classic at WrestleMania. It was the only time Okada appeared in GCW history, but now he's back. That's right, and you might wonder why he was here tonight. Well, it's time to finally announce our big project coming up. The GCW World Champion. Its history is phenomenal. Many wars have taken place in the squared circle, all in the name of its prestige. The sheer height of the mountain in which its golden grace rests is enough to drive any in-ring competitor to fall into obscurity. Only the best of the best have earned the right to call themselves champions. But now, the race for the gold is about to heat up. For the first time ever, GCW teams up with the king of sports, 
New Japan Pro Wrestling and the rising star FAW to bring you the G1 Climax. 12 of the most elite competitors on the planet will fight in the biggest YouTube pick fed tournament of all time. Being guaranteed a GCW World Championship opportunity. Who will be the next chosen one? Man, oh man, the G1 Climax with FAW and New Japan. I am so excited, man. What, what do you think about all this? To witness the G1 for the first time here on YouTube in this capacity will be crazy. Yeah, absolutely. And big things going down between teammates tonight. Moxley and Gage backstage. Apparently there was a confrontation and Nick Gage left the building. Some kind of creative differences probably? We don't know. We don't know the full story, but hopefully some more of that comes out in the future, but right now, it's time for Seth Rollins and his most trusted disciple, JTM, to take on the newly crowned Darby Allin and Sting, the tag team champions of GCW. People have been talking about JTM's WrestleMania performance, and for our new fans, here's a look at JTM's career. JTM first came into GCW at lockdown in 2013, him and his tag partner Alex Brooks won the tag titles a couple months later at Armageddon. JTM's best known rivalry is most definitely the one with Daniel Bryan. They had classics and even main evented Armageddon 2015 inside Hell in a Cell. Seth Rollins has a huge part in his career. In 2015 they formed the Age of the Fall together with Paige. They pretty much took over the company at Halloween Havoc that year, winning the IC and tag titles in the same night. But yeah, everything went downhill after they lost the bells to the Hardys at the Rumble in 2016. JTM got injured and Seth went his own way. From then on out, he pretty much gave up on himself. All he did was commentary for years. Until Rollins decided he was God and needed disciples. They're reunited and I think JTM thinks he owes Rollins his career, but we have seen how good JTM is at Mania and winning the tag titles tonight would hopefully make him more of an equal to Rollins once again. Very comprehensive history of these two and their career in GCW. But probably now, tonight, will be the night where their careers skyrocket into new heights. But they'll have to get through the relentless Darby Allen and the icon, the vigilante himself, Sting. Yeah, that could be a very tough challenge for JTM and Rollins here tonight. We have seen what Sting and Darby are capable of. An amazing showcase of their abilities that night at WrestleMania. These two pulled out all the stops, fought tooth and nail to become GCW World Tag Team Champions. And we gotta give thanks to our supporters on Patreon. Thank you to Darren, Kyron, Daniel, Nate TV, Harry, and Kid C4P. Link to Patreon you can find in the description down below. And if you join us on Patreon, we will thank you right here on the broadcast during our next match. Yes, indeed, but now it's time to crown possibly new tag team champions as this match is already going guns blazing as Sting puts a stop to Seth Rollins' momentum with that huge uppercut. Yeah, what a quick start, but I didn't expect otherwise as JTM. Wait a minute, Sting able to catch him dead in the air. Now he has JTM in a very precarious oh. position as he just dumps him out to the outside. But there's Seth Rollins with a super kick right to the chin. Sting did not see that coming and he's sure as hell gonna feel that in the morning as he has to roll out to recuperate. Here comes Rollins. What's he think of suicide? Oh. oh, what a power slam counter by Sting. Those years of experience proving beneficial to his health tonight. Yeah, definitely just slammed Rollins' back onto the floor. And Darby Allen. What is he thinking now? 
Now Sting, what's he got planned with Rollins here? Wait a minute, he's holding him up. Darby Allen is revving up for something big here. Wait, the oh. suicide dive onto Rollins as Sting held him in place. Rollins had no oh. choice but to oh. eat it, but look at JTM. How did he get up there? Oh, oh my God! What a dive by John Trademark. What a leap of faith by JTM from the top of that building structure. I can't even know what to call that, but that sure says a lot about JTM's faith in Seth Rollins here tonight to go to that many lengths to ensure that his Messiah proves victorious. Definitely, and now we're getting out the furniture here. This is Extreme Rules, anything is legal here. And judging from what we've seen at WrestleMania between the, uh, the Disciples and the Bloodline, excuse me, these two are not above going hardcore. For sure. And now what's Seth Rollins thinking of doing to Sting? That man is above 50 years old here. And this is gonna hurt a lot. I can't bear to watch this one. Wait, yes I can. Oh, oh my God, power bomb at the- Wait. What the hell? What? Sting staring Seth Rollins into the eyes. He's gotta be the most OP wrestler of all time. And here comes JTM. Oh. And there he goes. Oh my God, he just died. JTM just died. He is deceased from that ladder. At the very least, he got a concussion. Just like Seth Rollins there with that vicious clothesline from the icon. Seth Rollins is back up. Wait a minute. Code Red coming onto the ladder. Spine first onto Steel. You know what happens when flesh takes on Steel. Steel wins every time. That is for sure. And Sting is now stalking JTM. Thinking Stinger death drop already here. But JTM trying to fight out of it. Nicely done. Wait a minute. JTM able to counter there. Oh, oh my god. What a maneuver, just planting Sting onto the ground, and now Darby Allen. Oh my god! Darby Allen was looking for that stun dog millionaire, but JTM did his homework all right. Oh! Sting breaks up the count. I thought for sure JTM was gonna get that win. Yeah, he spiked him. And now what's Sting doing? Oh, sending him to the outside. Wait a minute, JTM trying to do something drastic here, but Sting has him oh. scouted all. That rope choke by JTM as Rollins lays waste to Sting with that elbow. And now Sting is sitting helplessly onto that chair. Seth Rollins looking to his most trusted disciple. What's JTM thinking? Oh wait, now Seth Rollins looking to do the same thing to Sting. What? Oh wait, oh my god, face first through that table goes JTM. What innovating offense by Darby. Sending JTM flying through the table. Yeah. But wait, there's Rollins with that curve but oh. the face. But there's Sting. Stinger dump drop to the top of the noggin. The Messiah oh. has been slain. No, he has not. Kick out by Rollins. What a war this is proving to be. Darby Allen and Sting. Seth Rollins and JTM putting out an instant GCW classic. Yeah, but what is Sting thinking now? Oh no. Sting looking to climb the heavens above Aubrey Edwards. Yeah, I'm with her. I'm trying to figure out what to do with all these psychos in the ring. But now Sting, Seth Rollins looking up. Sting going for oh. the Stinger splash. Oh my God, he fell face first onto the ground. That cannot do well for his age, all right, as Seth Rollins smiles ear to ear as he's now looking to put the legend to sleep. There's the curb stop. That gotta be it. Seth Rollins is about to be the two-belt messiah. Ah. And there's Darby Allen. Last second safe by Darby Allen here. And now what's Darby Allen thinking? Trying to choke out Rollins, perhaps? Maybe. Rollins fighting back here, but there's JTM, the backup for Seth Rollins. And now what's JTM doing here? Holding Darby Allen up. Seth Rollins looking to hit this double team. Oh, oh. curb stop onto Darby Allen. And JTM, oh. oh my goodness gracious.
Darby Allen is a damn daredevil, but I don't think even a daredevil can withstand that fall onto that much steel. Seth Rollins looks proud of JTM's work there as Sting is still unconscious after that curb stomp. Yeah, and Sting is now in big trouble, basically two on one. Oh wait, look, I was wrong! Sting was actually holding that baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire! Seth Rollins telling JTM to run to the wolves, oh. and that he does! But JTM might learn to regret that decision as the Messiah pussies out! Excuse my language, but I gotta call it like I see it! Seth Rollins is just letting JTM do all the dirty work as JTM tries to go for that reverse Rana onto Sting! Oh, but Sting had an answer to it! Yeah, and Rollins is just watching, not getting involved. Seth Rollins cowardly waiting on the sidelines as JTM is bleeding like a stuck pig. Yeah. But look at this! JTM is now begging for it! Trying to bait Sting into hitting him once again! Sting has no oh. problem! Oh my god! Full force! But look! Wait a minute! Sting is now unarmed thanks to JTM's sacrifice! But there's Rollins! Rollins is gonna steal it! Oh! oh! I thought for sure that was gonna be it! Me too! Looking to hit some turnbuckle powerbomb symphony. Oh. oh! The back of the neck of that old timer crashing again, but now, once again, all oh, that for the second time, two in a row by Seth Rollins. And now, with that shit eating grin, Seth Rollins is looking to put Sting to rest here. Falcon Arrow coming up here. Now just showing off here. My God. But Sting fighting oh. back with that Stinger death drop! What a counter there! Seth Rollins is down! And what? What in the hell? Did Darby Allen seriously just wrap his body in barbed wire? Oh my god, this has to be the most deadly of combat from all, but there's JTM! Jumping into the way, protecting his messiah, and it was all for naught! What a match have we just witnessed here. Darby Allen wrapped in barbed wire, ladies and gentlemen. What a battle these two teams have just gone through. But at the end of the day, say what you will about Seth Rollins and his Messiah Complex, JTM was the true MVP here tonight, just like at WrestleMania. Yeah, what he has done for the team was tremendous here. Such brutality shown, and this was just the second match of the night. Oh, and now Seth Rollins scolding JTM like a oh. dog. What the hell has gone into you're him? He loser. just saved your life, asshole. You understand me? Calling him a, a loser. Yeah, this is so uncalled for. Oh! Wait a second! There were people online wondering when Braun Strowman was going to make his move against the Messiah. Well, here it is! The monster among men has arrived! And still, JTM looks after his Messiah! Oh my god, JTM is in a true abusive relationship here as he's just taking yet another shotgun blast to the chest via Strowman! Oh. Strowman. I don't even know what to say at this point. If you want to support GCW and FAW, check out the FAW GCW Superstore on eBay. Link in the description down below. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the big Kaiju Battle of the Century. Fear Mahan made his shocking appearance not too long ago when it came to Brock Lesnar celebrating his win when he shocked the world and destroyed Kenny Omega's career in GCW. 
Veer Mahan showed up out of the blue and conquered the Beast! But now the Beast is looking to return the favor! And Veer! Oh, oh my god! Spine first against that barricade! I don't even think the Beast can handle that one, baby! He can! Slips right behind oh. Veer and lands the perfect German suplex onto his spine! Yeah, that was important. Onto the floor. Very, very dangerous as now he's sending him the barricade for Veer Mahan Mahan still fighting back, but he gets that vicious clothesline, but he's still on his feet. But not oh. for long as once again, Brock brings him down. Yeah, that can't be good. Landing with your neck on the floor. Brock reminding Veer Mahan just whose house it is as he's getting ready for a powerbomb there, but Veer... Able to fight out of it all oh, and drives his back against the side of that ring. Excuse me. I just cannot believe what I'm seeing here. Oh, wait. Brock resorting to desperate measures as he takes that cameraman's camera. That's the thing that pays the bill. But, oh, my God. Once again, the cameraman dies in front of our eyes. First it was Lance Archer, and now it was Brock Lesnar. But, oh, man, there's fear with that huge cross body. Yeah, that guy has as much bad luck as Hefner, but these two bulls just keep charging at each other here. Exactly, and now Fear with that huge chop to the chest of Lesnar. What's he thinking here? Oh, oh my God, something tells me I don't want to sit here to find out what Fear's trying to do. Oh, oh my goodness! The side of Fear's ribs crashing against the barricade, but that's the least of his problems. Oh my God! Brock Lesnar showing no rest for the weary here as he drives this Indian monster through the barricade. Yeah, just look how he fell. My goodness. Two beasts at it, man. Absolute viciousness and carnage have just been in our wake here since the beginning of this matchup. We haven't had any chance to rest here. Yeah, it's... He ducks the lariat, but oh my god, on the neck again! Oh! My god! Whatever Brock Lesnar does to Veer Mahan, he always has an answer for it. I don't think Brock Lesnar has ever faced somebody like this ever since he fought the Fiend. Yeah, Fiend or Walter. Oh my god, oh. I think Brock just spiked himself on his head on the way down. But even still, the beast fights on. But I think Veer Mahan is enjoying every last second of that. Here he comes, splash into the corner. Right to the neck there. You see Brock Lesnar favoring the neck. They're driving his elbow into the neck. Brock's been through many wars in his time. But right now, I think he's met his match with Veer Mahan. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh. trying to go for another. Cross body, but Brock Lesnar was able to catch him midair into yeah. the belly to belly. And now Brock imploring Veer Mahan to get up again for I'll more punishment. Yeah, now he's getting him up. And now Lesnar has Veer Mahan right where he oh. wants him. Oh my God! Veer Mahan still wow, with the DDT, an actual wrestling move. Oh. And oh, followed up by that vicious clothesline. Took out the head of Lesnar, but he didn't take out his spirit. Yeah, he didn't, but this is just crazy how these two keep charging at each other. But oh. Paul Heyman pleading with Veer Mahan to stop his carnage. I haven't seen him this riled up since WrestleMania. That sure says a lot about Veer Mahan. Oh, no! And you could say a lot about Brock Lesnar when he resorts to punching Veer Mahan's balls just to get the upper hand. F5 connects to Veer Mahan. You're right. What a desperation maneuver. Oh. kicks out. Paul Heyman was too busy celebrating prematurely that he didn't even realize that Veer Mahan would have been capable of kicking out of the F5. Yeah, not many can say that they are, but Veer able to kick out here. This match is surely a spectacle for all to see. But now Brock Lesnar is looking for the toys and he's got a pile of steel oh chains. What in the hell is he planning to do? Oh, he's trying oh. to choke the life out of Veer Mahan. 
This is dangerous. Paul Heyman yelling at Brock to make sure Fear Mahan has no chance of winning, but still, Fear fights back. And he can be lucky that he got out of this. This would have been bad for Veer. And now, Veer Mahan looking to put the final touches in his disaster piece. Wait, let's down the chair! Oh! Instead, he goes with a big boot right to the bearded face of Brock Lesnar! A big boot from hell! And this could be Veer Mahan's moment! Veer Mahan's big chance to conquer the beast who conquered God! Yeah, if you can hit this, it's gonna be over. Here it comes! Veer Mahan's gonna end this but thing! Look, no! But there's Paul Heyman! Oh. Oh. Yanking the chain so that it can make the balls once again! And Brock Lesnar has the death on the fly! Trying to choke out the beast in Veer Mahan! How ironic that it takes a beast to take down one! And now, Fear oh. Mahan is out! He's out! Fear, He's not fear, fighting anymore! Right Earl Hector is taking on him! He's out! He's out! That's it! Fear Mahan has been choked out unconscious by Brock Lesnar, who escapes this predicament! All thanks to Paul Heyman! Yeah, and there was only one way to stop the Indian warrior and that was by putting him into chains. Brock Lesnar sure had his work <laughs> cut out for him tonight. But in the end, say what you will, Brock Lesnar remains victorious, albeit through the skin of his teeth. My name's Stone Coach Steve Austin, and welcome to the GCW Broken Skull Sessions. My guest today, he's touted as the Fallen King, He's the first man to challenge GCW World Champion Will Ospreay at Extreme Rules. The one and only G-Man. Well, I took a long ass flight here to the Kona, Japan just to sit my ass down here in front of you. Three stages of hell. You versus Pentagon Jr. That match still gives me goosebumps to this day. You went in there with one of the best in the business today and you quite literally went to hell and back with him. So much blood. So much hate, so much brutality. What went through your mind going into that match? What in the hell? <laughs> Can you believe this, Kenta? That loser has to wrap himself in barbed wire to get a pop from these knobs. Just the kind of extreme garbage I'm talking about. <laughs> Excuse me. Oi! My apologies, William Osprey. Donald J. Trump, nice to meet your acquaintance. I couldn't help but overhear what you were saying from back there near the curtains. And if you don't mind me saying, I wholeheartedly, completely, and tremendously agree. And another thing we seem to agree on is that sending that illegal immigrant G-Guy back to where he belongs in Mexico tonight will make me very proud on behalf of this great country. Wait, aren't you gonna offer his cousin a job? Does he at least have a green card? Oh, Willie, Willie, Willie. I gave him something even better than a green card. I gave him a green suit. It's like a green card that you can wear. And not only that, the thing's worth one million dollars. But for me, that's just a small loan from me to him. But anyway, I'm a very busy man in a bit of a rush here. The ring is calling my name, so I'll make this quick. Before I go, I think it might be in your best interest to join my organization here, along with Danny. You got a very bright head on your shoulders, kid. You really understand how the world works. I think we can make a great team, what do you say? I'd rather fucking die. Don't worry about him, boys. He'll come around. They always do. Showtime. I have never
never been more nervous about anything else in my life, Luke. I wasn't even nervous my first night here in GCW, especially compared to now. Say what you will about Donald Trump. He is a true pioneer of this business. He's been here since the beginning. He's been a part of the fandom since the very insurgents of GCW. But now he's here to offer me a job and you for pretty damn sure can guarantee that I'm gonna take that job because nothing in my life has ever been certain other than the fact that I may be the right hand man of that man, Donald Trump, the former US president, Donald Trump. I never had financial stability in my life, even when I was working here. But now, if I were to nail this job interview, that's it. I'm set, Luke. I'm set. You know, that, that would make me happy for you, definitely. And as Trump would say, I wish you well here tonight. But I just feel like there was no need that all this is happening right here in the ring. You could have just done all this business backstage. Listen, listen, I don't care what you think, okay? This is the greatest night of my life, all right? How's my hair? Is my hair okay? I have to look my best for Mr. Donald Trump, okay? Do I smell nice hair? Smell my armpit. Not gonna do it, but you're fine, man. Okay, good. Good. Such a beautiful song. A beautiful song for everyone here to hear. Oh, boy. You know, recently, I've come to feel a bit disappointed in you. As I was saying, I remember the good old days. After a long day's work, I would come home, open up my laptop, hold a cold Mountain Dew in my hand and enjoy a good old classic GCW pay-per-view with the greatest band of all time playing in the background. It truly was a day to remember. <laughs> was it? But nowadays, I look around and this company does nothing but disgust me. Because this company used to showcase real wrestling. But now, all I see is trendy, extreme, hardcore ridiculousness. It's like a damn circus around here, and it's gotten so bad that I'm not even safe in my own space. That skybox up there is just as precious to me as the Oval Office. And it was desecrated at the Royal Rumble. And if it were up to me, I would have had this entire company shut down because of that. But luckily for GCW and its stockholders, there was one man and one man only who made me want to come right back to the next show time after time. A man with tremendous potential. A man with a great sense for making money. Just look at what he did with the horn of Jushin Liger's mask. He saw an opportunity and he took it. Just like how I took the opportunity to become the president of the United States of America. That man is Danny Meltzer. Come on up, son. Uh, well, wish me luck, Luke. Here I go. Yeah, man. Good luck. Man, I still cannot believe we're doing all this. Well, let's go. Wave to the people, man. Look, they love you. Listen to them. <clears throat> now, Danny, like I told you before, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. This is your once 
and only chance to become part of something really special. My illustrious organization here. Are you nervous? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Ah, uh, honestly. I like that. We need more of that in people your age. Now, Danny, all you have to do is answer three questions correctly. If you do, you're all in. But if you make even one mistake, you're fired. You understand? Y yes, sir. Okay, first question. Name somebody who defines the word crooked. Oh, God. Dan Hamsen. He cursed me, that son of a bitch. Even though I don't really know what that means still, I'm still pretty pissed off about it. Wrong. <laughs> what? No, Trump, please. And now hold on, hold on. Because I like you, I'm gonna give you one more chance, okay? Try again. Oh, crooked. 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 Oh! Oh! It's Hillary Clinton! That is correct. Second question. And this one's gonna be a bit harder. Who has already fallen asleep during the broadcast of this pay-per-view? What? How can I answer that? Look, please, Mr. Trump, please, just, just give me an easier one. Sorry, no can do. But what I can do is give you a hint. He's a very sleepy man. Uh, uh, Luke, help me out here! How would I know, man? Come on! Sleep, sleepy, sleep. What's the other? Sleep, wake, wake, wake up, Joe Biden, wake up, it's Joe Biden! Two for two, now this is it, the final question, all the marbles are writing on this one, who is the current president of the United States? Uh... Isn't that the answer from the last question? Oh no, I uh, see where this is going. Oh god. Oh, I get it. Why, it's you, of course, Mr. Trump. You are the president of this great nation. There you go! This, ladies and gentlemen, might be the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen happen in a GCW ring. Welcome to the Secret Service Navy. Congratulations. <laughs> Together, we will make GCW great again. I never thought I'd be happy to see Jim this Harrison guy. may not have found a tag team partner yet, but he is more than capable of defeating the likes of you two himself. So without further ado, put him up. Fight Den Herzen. Say hello to Den Herzen's little friend. His beast! All right, boys. It's time. Give him the Trump Tower. Danny, you're gonna need to commentate for this. You don't mind if I do, there go bitch ass Dan Housen on the shoulders of MJF, and there's Austin Theory on the top! I think it's ready for the Trump Tower! Yeah, baby, that's what I like to see! Dan Housen right on his ass! Now it's my turn. Now it's my turn. Yeah, get your bitch ass. Come here, bitch. What is he doing? Yeah, it's now time for the Meltzer Bob! You ain't ready for the Meltzer Bob! Watch this! Watch this! I've never heard of that. Oh, he's heavier than he looks. Oh, no. Yeah, give him a little help, boys. 
I mean, dude, this is hard to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, I think Danny has just turned heel on us or something. That's what you get when you curse the great Danny Melton. You hear me, you white face fuck. There's a lot more where that came from. Just like the words of Chris Jericho, the worst is yet to come. Big things going down between teammates tonight. Moxley Gage backstage. Apparently there was a confrontation and Nick Gage left the building. Sounds like the big question around these halls is... Why did Nick Gage suddenly book out of this arena before his big match tonight? Well, I'll tell you why. Because loyalty either lies with blood or with money. And luckily for the head of the table, he's got both. You see, I'm a generous tribal chief, ain't that right, Oos? True. That's right, and Nick Gage found that out firsthand. I'm a nice guy. I'm willing to forgive. And that's exactly what I did with him. Waving that dumbass knife around, that's all in the past. The legal bills are paid, son. And I hope Nick Gage enjoys that. We all deserve a fresh start anyway, don't we? So wait, Roman Reigns basically paid Nick Gage to not wrestle tonight? Oh, it's like the old saying goes, Luke. Money talks, and it's been talking very loudly to Nick Gage tonight, apparently, courtesy of the Tribal Chief himself. Well, but look. At all the tables around ringside, we're getting ready for a fatal four-way tables elimination match. And shout out to you two for guessing the competitors right. Here comes former Intercontinental Champion Cody freaking Rhodes, baby. Son of the great Dusty Rhodes here to mark his territory as a worthy contender for the IC title. Thanks to his rivalry with the phenomenal one, A. Jay Styles. Yeah, this whole thing has been going on for years and it led to Lashley winning the Intercontinental Championship at a house show courtesy of Cody Rhodes attacking AJ Styles. But now it's time to introduce or reintroduce one of the most brutal, sadistic men I've ever seen work in this industry. Carrion Ross, guided by his angel of doom, Scarlet. A lot of people thought since Karrion Cross was back in GCW in the IC title picture, he was going to for sure take the title home. But as we know, that is not really what happened, is it? Yeah, it looked really good for Cross until Lashley uh, threw him out of the ring and pinned Dolph Ziggler cross too late to get back in to um, stop the pinfall. So Karrion Cross is getting another opportunity here tonight. Second to last, but certainly not least, the phenomenal. Oh. Wait a minute, oh, there's Cody! Not waiting for Bobby Lashley to come out here before settling the score with the phenomenal one. Oh my God, suplex onto the concrete floor. But as he does that, here comes the Almighty. Not sure what to do here. Oh, wait, never mind. Of course he does. He just bulldozes right through the two competitors. And now he's face to face with Karrion Cross. And Karrion Cross wants to go right after Lashley after what happened at the house show. Karrion Cross trying to go for that Doomsday Saito, but Bobby Lashley just way too strong there, able to stun the deadly man. Oh, his cross. Oh, shoulder first into the post. Goes the Almighty! That was very important there. Lashley now out on the floor. And now Cody and AJ Styles con continuing their frustrations. It's amazing how long these guys have oh. gone. Oh, wait a minute! Styles tried to go for the style at DDT, but Cody Rhodes met him in midair. How does Cody do it? Look at the disaster kick. Amazing! Yeah, these two have been feuding for years and know each other so so well. 
Oh. Face first onto the table goes Bobby Lashley. And now Karrion Cross looking to eliminate him early on in this matchup here with the suplex onto the table. But Bobby still trying to fight back here and doing a damn good job of it. Oh, face first into the post. And now Cody, oh, look at this. Doesn't this kind of look familiar, Luke? It does. AJ, oh, nice. Wait a minute, sunset flip from AJ. Oh, look at this, look at this. Can he hit it? No, oh, Styles crash. Oh, I'm sorry, it's actually the hollow point. Shut your broke ass up. It's called the Styles crash, bitch. <laughs> Calm down, Danny, but the action keeps going as Lashley is don't worry about it. Here we go. Bobby Lashley. Oh, no, tried to go for the spear. But AJ Styles met him with an enziguri. Or perhaps a Pele kick, rather. I'm not sure. The phenomenal one is capable oh. of a lot of things, like taking down Karrion Cross with that knee. And now Bobby Lashley still stunned. AJ Styles. Wait, what? Phenomenal oh, no, my God. Oh, my God. There is no way I just saw that. AJ Styles sent plummeting through the table from God knows how high. Yeah, and I feel like Cody Rhodes wishes he was the one to do that. With that, AJ Styles has been eliminated, and now Bobby Lashley beckons to the American Nightmare. No! Oh! Wait a minute, Cody answers back, but there's Karrion Cross. And now Cross is in the clutches. Oh, huge back elbow from Bobby Lashley. I don't know where that came from, but it sure wasn't oh. handy. Cody Cutter from out of nowhere. What a match. I wonder what she's whispering to him, as Cody Rose doesn't seem to care all that much, and neither does Bobby Lashley. Cody Rose is trying to end this match early. Hey. Not so early, as Karrion Cross. Puts a stop to that. Goes for the power bomb here. Wait, Cody escapes. Oh, huge kick to the face of Cross. Oh, and he's right in position. And now Cross laid out helpless on the table. Could Cody Rhodes be thinking moonsault? Oh, wait, Cross! Cross! Oh. Top from Doomsday Saino! What a move by Cross! So much for Cody's dream of recapturing that IC title, but here comes Cross. Oh, Bobby Lashley fights back the only way he knows how. Oh. Oh. If that table weren't already broken, Karrion Cross would have won this match. My God. How can one man cause so much destruction this easily? I don't know, but we might call him the Intercontinental Champion after this. Scarlett definitely liking what she's seeing here as Karrion Cross is about to land the suplex of the century through the table on the outside. Oh my God, he has him hoisted up. He's got him. Oh well, wait, how is he? Oh my God, with just one arm, Bobby Lashley fights out of it. Oh. And now Bobby looking for the hurt lock. Does he have it? Does he have I it? Think he's trying to get it in, properly. yeah. No, I don't think he has it all the way in, Luke. I don't think he has it all the way in. But wait, what? Scarlett looking to intervene from behind, trying to choke out Bobby Lashley. And now wow. Lashley gets it out. Oh my God! Scarlett crashing through the table. I don't think Bobby knows what he's just done. Oh, big boot from Cross. Yeah, I feel like Bobby is in trouble now. Never mess with another man's girl, Luke. That's the gospel truth here. As he's now, oh my God, he's trying to make the truth known that Karrion Cross is the next IC champion as he lays Bobby Lashley out with two Doomsday Saitos onto the floor. Yeah, no, you gotta just throw him through a table. But what? Wait, Bobby, how the hell is he still have fight? Oh, TKO! Neck first onto the top rope. Karrion Cross is stunned. And now Lashley sees the opportunity of a lifetime. Spirit coming. Wait, Cross caught him. Bobby is helpless now as Karrion Cross has the cross jacket locked in. Maybe not for long as Bobby Lashley is still trying to fight out of this. 
Both of these men are just absolute juggernauts here. But look, I think Bobby's yeah, fading. Yeah. Bobby's fading. Oh. oh, my God, through the table. Karrion Cross has become the new Intercontinent. Wait, what? No. Bobby Lashley retains. Technically, Karrion Cross went through the table before Bobby Lashley. Earl Hebner trying to reason with Cross that he is not the Intercontinental Champion. And you can see the frustration and the soul. Would you look at that, Austin? Turns out your big bright idea to sign Nick Gage just backfired on you. I told you that guy was a lunatic. As if the time he tried to kill me in my own office wasn't evidence enough. Let me tell you old ass something. I don't give a damn if it's just me versus the bloodline. Them sons of bitches ain't escaping this ass whooping. No money in the world is going to escape this ass whooping. So by the time I go over there and I explode barbed wire death match, there's going to be hell to pay. And that's the bottom line because I said so. Don't touch the bottom line. Now, time for arguably the most anticipated match of tonight's card. The GCW World Championship is on the line between two men who have sacrificed everything they've known to come this far. Some kind of joke. My very first title defense is against some backyard deathmatch wrestling nobody. You and I are actually a lot more alike than you'd want to be. You chased after a world title and recognition for your talents. I chased after revenge. We got what we wanted, and what ended up happening? We both lost our humanity. The only thing is, the people gave me a second chance and I took it. I took it and showed up to GCW, kicked the door down, and who did I find? You. G-Man, I know you might think you've won the lottery with this place. Being in the big leagues, staying at the five-star hotels, but I'm in the fucking penthouse. I'm on another dimension. I see it all, clear as day. You've earned the right to hold that belt. But you gave up the privilege of ever calling yourself a champion. Because even though the people stood by you, cheered you on while you struggled to break through that glass ceiling, what did you do in return? 
told them all to fuck off and had Walter, oh, sorry, Gunther, win that title for you. Empire my ass. Don't be dumped. If the chump has to degrade himself down to your worthless level for this championship. When that bell rings, as far as the people can see, it'll just be a regular old wrestling match. But for you, it's going to be the fight of your life. I know your mama is watching right now. At Extreme Rules, you're going to do what you do best. And that's disgrace the name of professional wrestling. You're going to fail your entire family. Please, Osprey, underestimate me because it's just gonna make what happens next that much sweeter. You've come so far, G-Man, but one hidden blade is all the champ needs to send you right back to those background shows in that uncomfortable bed in this shitty motel down the street where you belong. At Extreme Rules, I'm gonna feed you your own heart and become the new GCW World Champion. Big fight feel does not begin to describe the feeling that is emanating from this arena here at Extreme Rules. The Fallen King will make his presence known, will state his claim to become the GCW World Champion. His sensei, Heihachi Mishima, the founder of the King of Iron Fist Martial Arts Tournament, is here to see his current prized pupil reach the goal that is World Championship Gold. But will the training that he sustained in Japan for so long be enough to take down the Commonwealth King? You know, that is a good question. I followed every single step of G-Man's journey. And I must say, I was just impressed by everything he went through to prepare for this match. I certainly see your point there. Both of these men have gone through absolute hell to get to where they are today. As you can see, Hey, Hachi Mishida, oh my god, okay, I guess that cameraman got a little bit too close to the master. Yeah, I feel like he's not uh, used to having cameramen follow him around. G-Man's biggest challenge awaits him here tonight at Extreme Rules. Never has he faced anyone quite as skilled and adept to the art of professional wrestling, like that of Will Ospreay. That is right, and if you would ask me personally, who is the best wrestler in the world, I would answer you, Will Ospreay. Will Ospreay feels like the finishing line has always been tugged just out of his reach by the higher ups by Vince McMahon, by Mick Foley, by everyone who has been a booker in GCW history. But now he's on the top of the mountain and he feels like it's an insult to fight someone like G-Man. But to me, there is no other challenge worthy for Will Ospreay at this point in his career than the Fallen King. The things G-Man has been through to get here Honestly, in my opinion, dwarfs that of which of Will Ospreay has gone through in GCW. And it's gonna that's just that my way. opinion. You, say this title, yeah, you know, it I, is I, fine, I can see and it always will be. Sure, G-Man has lost a lot of blood to get here, here. but Ospreay definitely has put in the work. Ospreay already talking that trash. Wrestling. Of course, oh, he's become an arrogant dickhead ever since he won that championship belt. Can what you blame him? Is wrong with his uh, I'll leave that God, to you. But right now, it seems like G-Man brought his equalizer Look, to you, Will Ospreay's Gunter. Yeah, that was very smart. I, I was hoping that he would do that, and, and he did.
This is the biggest moment in G-Man's life. This is the biggest challenge in Will Ospreay's title reign. Here we go, it's time to get that gold, G. Okay. He did say there was gonna be a regular old wrestling match, and what wrestling. is so wrestling about that? <laughs> the disrespect the already being shown by Will Ospreay. School. Let's try it again, ah. and Will Ospreay doesn't even wanna to touch G-Man in the beginning ranks of this My matchup. That son. smug grin, that shit-eating oh, grin from Osprey. There you go, G-Man going oh, guns blazing, but he gets that European uppercut from Will Osprey. Stiff as hell, but oh, G-Man tries to get that clothesline in. Will Osprey now trying to redirect. Oh wait, G-Man! Clothesline to the outside of the ring. Osprey is stunned. How do you like that? What are you doing? Hey, get the hell off! What in the world do you think you're doing? You have a damn match to get to. It's me. Osprey. What? How long are you gonna keep Donald Trump? Well, I'm just trying to tell you, you need to get to that title match. But what are you doing yelling at me for? Get your ass back in the ring! I'm not gonna tell you again! Here comes G-Man, wait a minute, Osprey back in the ring. Oh no! Wait a minute, Oz Cutter already! Yeah, there you go! Oh. Wait a minute, oh, ducks the kick, does Osprey. Wait a minute, reverse Rana attempt there. German suplex from G-Man, Osprey on his feet. Oh, gets the elbow, but Osprey kicks right back up. Back elbow from G-Man. And now what's he thinking? On the middle rope, G-Man looking this. Sunset flip, avalanche style. Osprey had trouble getting oh, back to oh. his feet. Suplex stuttered there, but Osprey able to scurry out. And this is definitely not the same G-Man he fought in that tag team matchup leading to this match. No, and I, I feel he just realized that. Oh, trading elbows. Wait a minute, Osprey using a superior speed. Wait a second. Transition what? to a power bump position. Wow! G-Man transforming it into a plot shot. Oh, go down, but there's Will Osprey proving to everyone why he is indeed the aerial assassin or former aerial assassin. I don't know names anymore. All I know is Osprey got the better of my cousin there. I'll give him props for that, but now I won't give him props for this. This is not a smart decision to get up in the face of Hey Hachi Mishima. No, just look at the size of that guy. Try to play with the big boys. And now Osprey's learning to regret that decision. Back body drop onto the floor, and you can see the shit-eating grin on Heihachi's face. Don't tell him I said that. Here we go. We find ourselves on the apron. Osprey with the super kick onto the face of G-Man, and he is stunned there. Heihachi barking orders, and now what's Osprey thinking of? I can see it in his eyes. He doesn't have anything no, well-mannered in mind here. Where the hell is Osprey going? No, no way. Shoot a ah! shot across onto the apron and G-Man's ribs. But I think Osprey did just as much damage to his own body as he did to G-Man. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. Oh my God, that was just brutal. Yeah, you can see Osprey is definitely feeling it in the ribs area there. Oh God. Boot to the chin of G-Man. The challenger is you down and the champion is now when signaling for, night night, for the hidden blade. Like we're right here. Oh, boy, wait a minute. Oh, oh G-Man able to counter with a code breaker. Eat your heart out, Chris. Yeah, that is a very smart maneuver to pull out on someone that has issues with his ribs. Shades of the man who embarrassed him in the episode four. Oh. Will Ospreay turning the tables with his agility, his versatility. Yeah. Wait, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, well, dodged well, the bullet there, does seriously. Ospreay. You actually took some karate classes. That's a Holy God. shit, he just knocked him out. What was that? Yes, G-Man with a spinning super kick. I don't know what to call that. He just knocked the champion out cold. Oh, oh my God, I thought G-Man was the new champion for sure there. 
And now look at this G-Man looking to put the final nail. Wait a minute. Burning Hammer. Oh my God. These two just know each other so well at this point. And this is their first one-on-one -on -one matchup. Oh my Osprey. Right. Into Osprey the on the ropes. Wait. Oscutter. Oscutter to G-Man. Just like last time. This could be it. Wait. Kick out G-Place. Oh. Yes. Yes. It's not enough this time, Will. Not enough. Hey, Hachi saw to that. My God, that was a close one for G-Man. But now Osprey signaling for one more time, one more attempt at the Os Cutter. Wait a minute, G-Man was ready. German suplex, and now shout out to Kurt Angle, his favorite wrestler on the planet. G-Man channeling his inner Olympic hero as Osprey is laid out in front of us. Yeah, I bet you're regretting talking all that shit now, aren't you, Osprey? And now, my cuz able to hit the. No! Oh! Oh my god! G! G, you good? You okay? He hit his head right on here. Oh my god, he's, he's busted open. I, I, I want to do something about this, but I can't. I have to remain here. And now Osprey senses the blood in the water like a shark! Come on, get away from him! Yeah, but of course Osprey's gonna take advantage of this. Where do you think you're going? G-Man now- Are you oh. kidding me? Reverse Rana onto the ground! Does Osprey have no shame? An already injured G-Man. Now worse for wear, as he suffered that reverse Rana getting spiked on the top of his head on the concrete ground here of this arena. Oh. Oh. But G-Man still kicks out. But what punishment has he taken? Head first oh, onto the announcer's nice. table. Poison Ron, I can't believe this can't either. Both jump. of these men. Just a fucking oh. and and Now what is this? Osprey now. Putting more insult to injury onto G-Man. How big is this guy's head? Now onto the apron. This is a very dangerous position for G-Man here. Osprey now going for the apron. Osprey, oh my god, he landed on his neck, but now G-Man taking the opportunity. Rampage DDT onto the apron. Hardest part of the ring. Now get him back in the ring and pin him, cuz. I think they're both spent. You're right, they're too spent. These two guys have laid out everything so far, and we're only just getting started, I feel. Osprey, realizing that this challenge is a lot harder than he thought it'd be, no doubt about it, as Osprey now backs into the ref. Oh, Hebner, wait a minute, what, what the hell is Gunther doing? What the hell, he's distracting him oh, no. Wait, hit and bite to the back of the head! Yeah, you said fucking squad, yeah, and G-Man landed no, horribly on the ground. The this is how he got eliminated at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, and now what's this? What's Osprey you saying now? Count him out, you hear me? This is a regular rules match. I'm the world champ, and you do what the fuck I say. And I say you what? count him out right now. You hear me? Count him out. No, no, you can't be serious. Yeah, no. What? <gasps> What the hell? That's right. What the hell? Are you fucking kidding me? Osprey's just making up the rules now. We've never had a count out. Oh my god, no. Come on. Come on, G. Get back in there. G. Come on, get up. Six. Get up, G. Seven. Please. Get up, please, G. Eight. Come on, cuz. Get up. Get in there. Yes, he got it. He got it. But wait. Osprey from the springboard. He was lying in wait! Osprey now! Loaded up! With the hidden blade! Looking to finish things off! Turn around, cuz, please! Watch out! Watch your head! G-Man! Wait a minute! Oh, wait! The back slide! What a counter! Suplex stutter! Here it comes, baby! Wait! Osprey able to counter! Springboard! Osprey! Oh, oh, wait! Was that the predator yes, adjustment? Yes, it was! Predator adjustment! G-Man in channeling his head! Oh. Wait, but it's not enough! Now he's not 
done? What the hell possibly else could he be thinking of doing? Walk at a Stormbreaker G-Man on his feet. Oh, gets the hook kick from off three. Two steps ahead and over. Watch him back. Oh! Knocks him to hell out once again. Second time of the match. What a punch. And now G-Man thunks him on his head again. There you go. That's how it's done, baby. Wait, what the hell? Now Walter, I mean Gunter, whatever the hell. Wait. He's got Shoot. company. Oh. Jesus Christ. Who says Gunter's the master of the challenge? And now, this might be it. And now, this is it. Everything has led up to this! He has Will Ospreay! Final nail in the corner! Oh, Reverse Rana! Again! Ospreay able to cheat death! And now, Ospreay! Oh my god, he can't even fight his footing! Going for the hidden blade once again! Get the super kick from G! And now, with a stunned Ospreay on his foot! No! Awful Waffle! Guess what took out that good driver? And his Ospreay still kicks out! My God! <laughs> now G-Man, making Osprey pay! No, no, Earl, let him go! Let him fight! He said he was gonna feed Osprey his own heart! Well, guess what, Will? It's dinner time, bitch! Oh! I'm not the only one who saw that, right? Low blow! Osprey went low! That dirty son of a bitch went low! Like he only knows how! Oh my god! No, 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 no! Please don't tell me! Star Driver! Fight him! No, no, this can't be the end! This can't be the end! Osprey! Won't you? Not for Say you more time! You're no more for me when I sent you to her! Unfortunately, Osprey was the one who survives. Yeah, this could have gone either way, but in the end, it was that hidden blade. G-Man laid everything on the line here in the biggest match of his life. But now there's his friend, his good friend Nicole, after everything G-Man's been through. Even though he came up short here tonight against Osprey. I don't think G-Man lost. Excuse me, Luke. For both of you. Yeah, man, sure. For my professional sure, and bask in the glory that is the world champ. <laughs> what? Oh yes, we have heard him declare that he would come for the winner. And here is the beast. Oh, 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 oh. Stop right there, bro. Stop right there. I know you think you're in the title match picture because you retired, Kenny. Good job on that, but it ain't that easy, bruv. My next number one contender is going to be the winner of the G1 Climax. So you better try your luck there, bruv. 
And if you think you can even come anywhere near me, you are badly mistaken, mate. You think my man Goots are here for God? Huh? Do you think that the great Veer Mahan coming after you was just coincidence? Look behind you, bruv. Wait, what? Oh my god! Veer Mahan! Now it makes sense! He has been a united empire! This all has been Osprey's plan! If you want to support GCW and FAW, check out the FAW GCW Superstore on eBay. Link in the description down below. Man, what a night we had here so far. People are calling it a match of the year candidate. G-Man versus Osprey. What a match have we just witnessed right here. Yeah, I definitely agree with you there. It's been a wonderful night, even though my cousin did not beat Will Ospreay. He fought his heart out, and it's no secret that he went through gruesome training in Japan. But what he also went through is some familiar faces in the form of Kota Ibushi and Kenny Omega, former GCW World Champions. It's obvious that they met up with G-Man at Japan and gave him some pointers on fighting Will Ospreay. But that was not the end of their journey as Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi had actually made their way to the new Japan Pro Wrestling Dojo. Yes, people have been wondering what Kenny was up to after WrestleMania and we really want to thank New Japan for providing us with the footage right here. Kenny Omega no doubt depressed over his loss against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania has now turned a new leaf. No doubt with the help of some kind words from his best friend Kota Ibushi, Kenny Omega entered the dojo and now has struck a deal with New Japan Pro Wrestling President Funaki. Yes, that's right, Funaki. What a world we live in, huh? Yes, and our project with New Japan starts off next weekend, the G1 Climax, and you could see Ishii and Desperado already preparing for this tournament coming up here on the channel. But on the way... He met face to face with current IWGP World Champion CM Punk. I guess we now know what he's been doing since he lost to Kenny all those years ago. And now, Kenny finds himself in the best in the world's turf. Yeah, it's really interesting to see how things come full circle here in professional wrestling. But we definitely wish Kenny Omega good luck as we get ready for our main event here. Absolutely best of luck to the cleaner in his endeavors in New Japan Pro Wrestling. But right now, with him gone, some may argue that GCW has become the turf of the tribal chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns. Yeah, and tonight is very important for Reigns to establish that. We have seen how this all started with Steve Austin. Over a year ago, Roman Reigns almost ended the life. Now, screw all that talk about ending careers. Roman Reigns almost killed Stone Cold Steve Austin on that night, and it was a horrifying sight to see. But something tells me something even more wicked this way comes, Logan. I'm not, I'm not capping about that. Look at this play. Look at that ring. It's a complete death trap now. Yeah, I definitely agree. It looks, it looks scary right here. John Moxley joins Steve Austin on his journey to finally taking down the rambunctious, running rampant Tribal Chief. I'm coming up with words that I never know I'd use here, but how can you not? This is the main event to see tonight at Extreme Rules. Roman Reigns is looking to put an end to this feud that he has with GCW Extreme General Manager Stone Cold Steve Austin. And he's gone down lengths that I have not even expected him to go to. He bribed Nick Gage into getting out of this match, so now it's a two on three disadvantage for Team Austin. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is dangerous for Austin and Moxley. As we see the, the numbers advantage already taking place. You can hear the sadistic laugh of John Moxley as he's trying to force Jey Uso onto those exploding barbed wire ropes. Oh, and now, Moxley is just a one-man army against the bloodline. 
Yeah, he has to be. He has no other choice as he gets Jey Uso. Now what's Moxley thinking here? Oh, wait, watch out, oh. oh, my God! Jey would rather just fall to his death on the concrete ground than face the burning hell that awaits him on that barbed wire rope. It's understandable, but the way he fell definitely looked painful as well. It's all chaos breaks out here in the ring. Oh, wait! Jimmy Uso with a quick counter with the Samoan drop, and here comes Austin. Now what's this, wait? Jimmy Uso has Austin, oh! Backbreaker into the neckbreaker, or excuse me, back suplex into the neckbreaker. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Distracted oh. by these barbed wire ropes as Jimmy also evades them with the grace of freaking Batman. But oh, oh Roman Superman punch to Austin. How close that was to complete disaster for Stone Cold. And now Austin is groggy. He doesn't know what's going to happen. And oh, there's the spear from Roman Reigns. Just like that, Austin isn't in. What the hell is that? What the? What? Oh my god, what? Wait! Oh, that's Eddie Kingston with an unconscious Nick Gage on the passenger seat. I guess Eddie Kingston found Nick Gage on the streets and has now come to help out his best friend. John Moxley has been in a box and there's the German suplex to his former shield brother. Uh -oh. oh! Back fist of the future! The Uriken to Jimmy Uso by Eddie Kingston! The Mad King has arrived to GCW! But now, look! Oh! oh my god! Oh my god! First instance of the exploding barbed wire and courtesy of John Moxley onto Roman Reigns, excuse me. I can't even think straight. There's the super kick to Mox. Jey Uso checking on his big cuz. But there's Eddie Kingston to spoil the fun. Oh! Huge exploding back suplex by Kingston. And what a friend he is to John Moxley coming out here to help him. But look. Wait a minute. Oh, the what? Oh. Eddie King, oh my God. Look, look, look at, at his that. hand. Look at his hand. Jesus Christ, his hand is a hamburger now. Jey Uso, I think he's even horrified of what just happened. Eddie, the ref Eddie, is trying to check on Eddie Kingston there. Oh my God, that cannot be good for the rest of his career. But oh wait, there's Roman, there's oh. Roman, oh my God. Just like Jey Uso before, John Moxley was able to avoid those barbed oh wires. And now, Roman Reigns barking orders to Jey Uso to go up for the fences against John Moxley. No way, stunner! 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 Austin hits the stunner on Roman! Austin can make the cover here! But here comes Jimmy! There's a oh. stunner to Jimmy and he lands on the hood of the car! Roman is in trouble here! He's going for oh, no. oh, there's no. Austin onto the floating barbed wire! He he got the explosion right into his face! And now Roman just needs to pick up the scraps! No, not no. again. No, please don't tell me not again. No. John Boo runs wild here in Extreme Rules. And now was Jay thinking? Mox is in trouble right in front of us. I've been doing this of all time. Roman Reigns making sure that the ref has no choice but to check on Austin here. We might have to stop this match before anything else happens. Anything bad happens. I mean, honestly, too late, but wait, there's Foxley! Wait, what? What's he doing here? Oh, 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 oh my god! god. Exploding barbed wire, and I think Jay has just died! Yeah, Jay is definitely not contributing future Bloodline members. Jay is no longer a factor in this match, much like Eddie Kingston. Aubrey Edwards checking on the little cousin of Roman Reigns, but wait, look who's come to! Nick Gage! But oh! Trying to get no. the but he gets a pound driver for his troubles! What the hell, Nick? No, Austin, you gotta, you gotta stop this match, right? Forget about it. You can't, you can't fight no more. Come That's on, That's right, Mox wanted payback for what happened neck, to Austin. Nick Gage. He just think abandoned his neck. team Come for the on, night. Man. And Come the on, doctor man. and Come the ref are trying to make sure that Austin kind of forfeits his match. But oh, there's Roman Reigns not even gonna give him the chance. Come on, then forget about it. All right, he's done. Roman Reigns away. His neck is done. All right, all right.
But look from but behind! Austin! Stunner! That could be it! This could be it! Austin might have just slain the Tribal Chief! No! no! Roman Reigns able to get the shoulder up! I cannot believe what I'm watching here! Both of these men have absolute disdain for each other! They want to kill each other! They want to see the other six feet under! And they're gonna go to any lengths to make that happen! You can feel the electricity, the fire in the eyes of these two competitors as Roman Reigns and Austin talk that sweet trash, but here comes Nick Gage! I'm the one who gave you the job! I gave you that give fuck! What this man gave me. I don't give a damn if he gave you a new land. Both of these men are trying to guide this gauge into some kind of side here. I don't know if Nick Gage is that smart. I don't even know if he knows what allegiance is. And now, Austin, he was the one who gave him the job in the first place. Nick Gage has chosen his side, and Roman Reigns is in deep trouble here. Your days are numbered. What? 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 Nick Gage doing? No! Backward! No! Fire! Into the guillotine! Nick Gage is just, he's just betrayed his entire Austin, if you're brand! Conscious, please talk back to me. Oh, for talk the back sake to of me. money? Okay, okay, he's out, he's out, he's out, he's out. this, Luke? Roman Reigns survives yet another war here in GCW. Mox is broken hearted. Eddie Kingston, I think he's gonna need his hand amputated, but Roman Reigns has his hand raised in absolute victory over his opponents here tonight, thanks to Nick Gage.